If you're looking for a Windows powered laptop with a full view display, Intel Core i9, a solid battery life, and nice thin metallic body, then keep watching because this laptop I've been testing does exactly that and more. So this is Huawei's brand new laptop, the 16 inch laptop for end of 2023 going into early 2024. I've been using this and testing this out and I'm gonna to talk to you about my experiences. First things first, let's just talk about the fact that it is for a 16 inch laptop, incredibly light, versatile and portable. It weighs just under two kgs and it's got a thickness uh, of around 17 millimeters. So it's under 20 millimeters of thickness. Both of those are very, very important, particularly in a 16 inch laptop size, because it means it's portable and it's easy to take on the go. Plus, Huawei have used a metallic uh, body essentially for this. So it means that it's sturdy, it's premium, but it's also light as well. Just a quick look around the ports to give you an idea. We have a HDMI, we have two USB a port, we've got a single USB-C, we've got a headphone jack. The only thing that I would have liked to see off the bat, there is no SD card slot for this, which is, uh, especially if you're gonna be sort of filming and editing on the go, something that's missing, you can always use an adapter for that. It would have been nice to see included. And I, at the moment, am using a lot of USB-C, so I would have liked to see perhaps one more USB-C port included in that. So one of the standout features on the Huawei MateBook D16 is this full view display. It's a 16 inch, really vibrant, punchy display. It's gonna be great for everyday use. And it's got this full immersive, expansive display thanks to the thin bezels on the side. So you're gonna get more when you're viewing content. Now, one of the other interesting things is right out of the box, this is actually a matte display, not a glossy display. So this means it's gonna be better to avoid reflections on that display. And despite being punchy and vibrant, while we have worked with the hardware and software to reduce the blue light strain uh, on the eyes that can happen when you're staring at screens for too long, it helps with also the dimming element in low light. It's also got a hinge that will allow it to lay flat 180 degrees. So overall, a really solid display. The only thing I would have liked to see if I'm picking faults here is a slightly higher refresh rate, but I think this display is pretty solid for day-to-day -day use. Right, one of the things I really like, check this out, a full keyboard on the Huawei MateBook D16. I like the fact that you've got a nice numeric keypad over here. So if you're doing a lot of work with numbers, it's gonna be very helpful. You've got a nice trackpad here as well, good responsive us when it comes to the click zooming in zooming out you also have a backlit keyboard as well now when it comes to the sound quality of the speakers the i'll give you a little hint at what they sound like let me know what you guys think let's take this all the way up to a hundred it's very very loud but i don't know if it comes across on the video the only thing is that audio quality, it, it kind of lacks depth. So there's not a lot of bass, not a lot of treble, but in terms of if you want a loud uh, speaker, you're certainly gonna get that. All right, let's talk about performance. So this particular model that I've been using and testing is running the 13th gen Intel Core i9 chip that's paired up with the Intel Iris XE for the graphics, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and then fast SSD. Now in this region, this will also be available in the 13th gen Intel Core i5 processor as well. And what I will say is that there is a price difference between the i5, the i9. If your budget permits, do consider getting the i9, particularly if you are planning on pushing the laptop on a regular basis, perhaps you're doing more heavier work, you've planned heavier work, and also you wanna keep the laptop for longer. If you're able to afford it, do consider the Intel Core i9. As far as performance day to day, things like benchmarks, graphics, tests, uh, you know, all the applications that you might use on a regular basis, multitasking. I even managed to test this out with a bit of light to medium gaming and it helped up really, really well with that. So from a performance perspective, I think most customers will be happy. One other thing quickly worth mentioning when it comes to performance more so to do with connectivity, this laptop has something called Huawei MetaLine Antenna. The benefit of that is that you're gonna get more consistency when it comes to the Wi-Fi data signal. So if you're living in an area with lots of walls, obstructions in the way, that MetaLine Antenna should help with giving you more consistency with that connection and obviously upkeeping the Wi-Fi data speeds as well. 
The MateBook D16 also runs Windows 11 and Microsoft application and Huawei's own software enhancements. One which I've spoken shown off before is Super Device, where the MateBook D16 can pair with other Huawei devices to improve on productivity by working as one device. It has intelligent pairing and specific to the D16 is AI sound tools to help in video calls. You have a 720p webcam at the top and the AI sound has three different modes that can drown out background noise and enhance your voice to make it clearer to those on the other side. And I've tested this out on zoom calls and it works really well now something else worth mentioning is the battery life so battery life on this has been very impressive it's got a larger capacity when it comes to the battery life and uh, that means that you're gonna be able to use this out and about much more without having to worry about you know taking a charger having said that the charger is so light considering it's a 65 watt Huawei supercharge uh, it charges via USB-C you can actually carry this around it's not very heavy at all um, but if you don't want to carry the charger around you can expect very very good battery life now as far as Huawei is concerned they're saying that you should get about 15 hours worth of battery time out of the MateBook T16 which is very good I was getting close to about 12 and a half to 13 hours but that was probably because I was doing more testing much more graphic intensive work so you know expect those uh, battery times to very slightly but all in all I mean it's a pretty solid offering from Huawei if you think about what the Huawei MateBook T16 has to offer it's quite a lot everything from that Intel Core i9 the full view display the impressive battery life uh, I'll post all the information about the pre-orders the pricing in the description down below let me know your thoughts and if you've enjoyed this video be sure to check out this other one over here I'm Kwan over and out I'll see you in the next video peace and blessings